Hello and welcome to the video. This video is about this new flight controller from Brain FPV. Now I'm a fan of Brain FPV. I've made quite a few things with their flight controllers. Their flight controllers are of high quality and they are manufactured in the continental USA. So if that's important to you, that's a big tick in the box. But one of the things that they did historically is they offered a vector based on screen display for analog FPV. And I actually installed it into my ZOHD Dart, turned it into what was affectionately called the Brain Dart and that dart still spouts the brain FPV livery that came with the kit and even though now unfortunately it's running a non brain FPV flight controller along with the Walksnail system. Now brain FPV have been quiet for a couple of years and I was getting a little bit worried about them but luckily I started to see some posts on social media from Martin and the team over there at brain FPV around this new flight controller the Radix 2 HD and as I always like to get them in and have a look I got one in to have a play with. And it does mean that, luckily, Brain FPV are absolutely not going anywhere. I did have a Skype chat with Martin, and they are in the process of making quite a few things. I have asked them for a Brain FPV wing-style flight controller, so I have my fingers crossed that we get one of those. But this new Radix 2 HD is a slightly different version of the Radix 2 that's been previously about. This one's specifically designed for use with HD systems. So while I show you how it comes in, in the packet let me run through some of the specs. This is a H7 processor in here so a very powerful CPU with a BMI 270 gyro and it has the same flight performance as the full Radix 2. Plug and play with DJI Digital FPV but it's compatible with all other HD systems and includes a pit switch for HD stuff too. Dual 4-in-1 ESC connection for octocopters, i.e. cine lifters, and it supports 8S but can do voltage sensing up to 12S. Built-in flash memory and a micro SD card slot for logging, if that's interesting to you, and FPV bootloader for driverless flashing, I'll show you that in a moment. CAN port on here for future extensibility, which is great. CAN bus is something that I'm starting to use more and more here, and again it's made in the USA. One of the big things about this flight controller is the fact that it has top draw documentation. Brain FPV manuals are award winning and it's very clear to see why. Even the little manual that comes in the kit is very handy, but going onto the website you can see exactly how everything goes together. And I applaud Brain FPV for putting the time and effort into helping their customers understand how this stuff works. It avoids a lot of pitfalls and I wish that other board manufacturers took a leaf out of their book. No analog on-screen display with this and there are improved voltage regulators and filtering. So to flash this flight controller with the flight control software of your choice is a piece of cake. There's no DFU, there's no rebooting, there's no holding of buttons. It's really simple. What you do is you just plug the flight controller into your computer with a USB cable and it appears as a USB drive. That USB drive has one file on it called README. It's actually a web page. If you double click on that, then you will get information about where to go and download the software and the firmware to put on the flight controller and the process you need to follow too. So I'm going to download the firmware for my Radix 2 HD from here. And again, this is just the file that's actually on the flight control already take you to the firmware page and you can scroll down and it will already have pre-populated the fact it's a Radix 2 HD, give you some tips and tricks as well and you can then download the file just like you would download anything else onto your computer. Once you have the file then just copy that onto that USB drive that appeared when you plugged the flight controller in that had the instructions on and then once you've done that unplug the flight controller from the computer and plug it back in and when it comes back it's running beta flight it is that easy and straightforward absolutely fantastic and super simple no messing around probably one of the easiest flight controllers to get the flight controller software onto 
So talking to Martin, it does sound like they're planning on doing some kind of survey. And if you go and do the survey, there's a chance to win one of these. So if that's live and running, I'll put a link down below along with the dates that that survey is going to be available. But if you, like me, are fans of the Brain FPV technology, the great news is it is still here. There are two versions of the Radix 2 currently available, one for the analog system, and this one here is more really designed for us who like things like DDR HD, Walk Snail, and other HD systems as well. I've got my fingers crossed that we're going to see some more cool stuff from Brain FPV, because when they come out with stuff, it tends to be really innovative and a lot of fun to use. Thank you for watching the video. If you watch my videos and find them useful, then please take a moment to hit the like and subscribe button. It helps the channel a lot. If you really like what I'm doing here, you can become a Patreon and support the time I spend helping others and get access to lots of exclusive benefits. Link is in the video description. Remember that all the videos on the channel are organized into playlists, so you can easily use those playlists to find all the videos on a subject that you are interested in. Add Painless360 to your searches on Google and YouTube, and it'll help you find my content for any particular topic. Thanks again for watching, and as always, happy flying.